going to also uh, take in a word from uh, Mr. Patikrit Pain, who is a geopolitical analyst and is also joining us live on this broadcast. Patikrit, if you heard what uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had to say, he didn't really mince words when it co uh, comes to the war uh, in Ukraine. He, of course, went on to say that he, he acknowledged the disruption caused in, in terms of uh, the global supply chains, but also uh, highlighted the need to work uh, in a unified manner uh, and, and with a more resilient, diversified stance in order to provide connectivity. How would you uh, like to uh, contextualize what Prime Minister Narendra Modi had to say? Well, first and foremost, what I understand is that if, if this has to be Asia's century, then it cannot happen by depending on, you know, those Bretton Woods institutions like World Bank, IMF and every mm. other thing, which is still controlled by the West. So, so in that context, SCO's potential is immense. Uh, in addition to that of BRICS, BRICS Bank. And it is true that when you have supply chain shocks, global supply chain disruptions, especially because of conflicts and then sanctions by the West, then it hits the developing countries, poor countries, more than it hits the prosperous countries. Thirdly, it is important for to understand that the Asia has to look, you know, towards it, it has to be more inward looking in terms of solving its own problems mm. rather than depending entirely up to, for, towards the west so there's an immense potential and that's where prime minister modi was selling hard selling the brand india there is a huge potential for india and the central asian countries including russia to look beyond energy and defense into the areas of fast moving consumer goods consumer durables automobile today the situation as it stands you know from russia a large number of western companies have left because of sanctions and there's an immense scope for Indian companies to fill the void. Secondly, yes, it is true that there are challenges, whether you talk about China or anything else, right. but you have to at the same time do trade because even where the West continues to do with trade with, Ch with China. And last but not the least, you know, in terms of terrorism, all the issues that has happened across the world, Asia suffers the most. So it is important for, for Asian countries, especially the Central Asian countries, who, who actually hold uh, the benchmark in terms of following moderate Islam, uh, as to how you go forward and solve the problem instead of just imposing sanctions. That has been the norm of the West. Today, countries like Iran or Russia cannot be ignored. And whenever you ignore those countries that West wants us to do, it impacts us the maximum mm. in terms of mm. our energy crisis. Mm. So I think Prime Minister Modi at the same time is taking a very nuanced approach. He mentioned, mentioned one thing in terms of defining terrorism. For last 70 years, United Nations has failed to define what terrorism is. And we have suffered the most as a country in terms of you know, terrorism. And still today, up till now, you know, you West at times define terrorism when it's convenient to them and the rest of the time they don't do. So today, from 2020 onwards, after the global supply chain disruptions, India has shown immense economic resilience, geostrategic resilience to emerge as the fifth largest economy in spite of all the challenges and yet go forward taking care of its own people, giving vaccines to others, helping Sri Lanka in crisis, even when there was pressure from the West not to buy from Russia, not to have relation with other countries. So I think the world, especially the SEO countries, are looking towards India, not just as a market, but also perhaps to act as a balancing factor uh, against countries like China. You know, most of the Central Asian countries may still not consider China as an adversary, but for the sake of playing a balancing act, I think they still believe that right. India has a huge role to play. And Prime Minister Modi is the biggest ambassador of this aspirational India that he has taken forward since 2014. Absolutely, Patikrit. Many thanks to you for sharing your best.